Welcome back to my channel, guys. Welcome back to all of my hair salon professionals that are out there, as well as those that just love to learn new things online and through video. Today, we're gonna talk about 10 tips for a better blowout. Let's get it going. Tip number one, detangling. Prior to even getting started with the service, guys, when we're doing blowouts, when we're doing natural hair, uh, the hair is shedding, sometimes 100 strands per day. Whether you're at home doing your hair yourself, whether you are actually styling or doing a blowout on somebody, or whether you're a professional inside of the salon, we've gotta be mindful that right now, so many of the ladies that are out there are natural, meaning they're relaxer free, right? So we gotta be mindful to take that shedded hair out of there, those beautiful lush curls. Uh, they can be a challenge if we actually put water on them when we get started with the blowout and we haven't detangled and actually taken any loose hairs that's there from shedding, sometimes we or even months prior to getting a wet service or prior to getting a wet set service or a blowout or a silk press, make sure that you've got all of those shedded hairs out before you get started. Tip number two, lightweight products. For years, as a professional in the salon, what we actually used were products that were designed to work on relaxed hair, right? Because we were using chemical relaxers like sodium hydroxide, guanidine hydroxide, lithium hydroxide, for years, we were removing the moisture, removing uh, the hydration from the hair, so we had to place that moisture back in. That was so important. Still important if we're out doing relaxed hair now or if your hair is relaxed. But when we're trying to do a blowout, right? When we're trying to do relaxer free hair, yet have the hair to be straight, if we're using products like we did before that had a lot of oil, that had a lot of creams, that had a lot of moisture, they're gonna weigh the hair down. So now you have to go make some choices on products that give the hydration, but are lightweight. That one switch could be a game changer to take your blowouts from good to great. Tip number three, use a steamer. At this point, I think <laughs> not only in our salons, but in our home, there's a link in the bio for a steamer that I suggest. It's a really, really affordable one. I think it's one that you can keep in your home or it's one that you could actually keep inside of the salon by multiple of these if you're inside of a suite. It is a no brainer. If you're gonna be servicing clients that are natural, um, that have curls, that are curly naturals or definitely straight naturals, you have to incorporate a steamer. At this point in 2021, I would encourage you to just put it inside of the service and have a menu item that includes the steam treatment so it's not even an option for the client. It is a game changer when you're trying to put moisture inside of the hair through water, through water droplets and not just products. So get a steamer, incorporate it in every service. Tip number four, leave-in conditioner. Guys, I would encourage you to use a water-based leave-in conditioner. For years, I used creams. For years, I used things that were a little bit thicker, but I realized over time, always thinking about the lightweight nature that I want the final look to be, I started to incorporate a water-based or a liquid leave-in conditioner. And number two, kind of a caveat to that tip, guys, leave about 20, if not 25% of the water moisture from the sink in the hair. Listen to me, the number one product that you're gonna use in order to really get that smoothness, that sleekness, that movement that you want from a blowout or a silk press is water. <laughs> Guys, the dryers that we're using now, the blow dryers that we're using, they're ionic, right? They have the technology inside of them that utilize the negative and positive going on with the hair and the styling, right? They have a whole different way they're calibrated and they actually take water instead of blowing water off the hair, which makes sense, right? We're trying to dry the hair. They actually take water break it apart seemingly without getting too technical and make water a part of the hair, right? So you wanna use that as you're blowing throughout the hair, even as you're going section for section, spray the section, right? With just a water bottle, nothing else inside of it so you can use water as your ultimate product for sleekness. This is a game changer. Again, for those that are doing their hair themselves and certainly for my beauty pros that are out there that really wanna take their blowout game from good to great and great to phenomenal, I'm telling you, the number one product you wanna use after you get them outside of the sink with shampoo and conditioner is H2O. Tip number four. Guys, when you're using your blow dryer, whether you're using the Coco Pro, Epic Light, or whatever blow dryer that you choose, be sure to take the nozzle, right? I am a fan of the nozzle, but certainly the, the comb attachment, certainly round brushing, certainly any method really can get you results. But when you're using the blow dryer, especially for coily to kinky coily to really highly textured hair, you know, tons of beautiful curls that are out there, you really wanna take the blow dryer and blow from north 
to south. This is so important, right? You're actually blow drying the hair, not air form or the air pressure at the hair or from the side or from the right, but really focus the air, right, from the top, really from the root of the hair down to the floor, keeping that nozzle pointed to the floor. That's gonna seemingly, if you can imagine the hair shaft being like a Christmas tree and you're trying to close, it's, it's, it's curly, right? You got curls, you're trying to take that curl and smooth it out and sleek it out. So you want that blow dry to be on top of the hair form, right? And just blowing down. So be mindful of your posture and the way you hold your arm, shoulder when you're blow drying. If you're doing it yourself, it's a little bit tougher, but definitely I'm on professionals that are out there, north to south with your blow dryer. Guys, this is a tip. Uh, but it's not necessarily a technical tip. It's something to be mindful of that shine is really not product as much as I love serums and sprays and lusters and silicones and dimethicones. Ultimately, my years from being a professional, I realized that ultimately shine was like being able to bounce against a closed cuticle, right? And you're gonna get that from your steamer. You're gonna get that from your bowl selection. You're gonna get that from your detangling, really. You're gonna get that certainly from your blow dryer and your thin sections, which we'll talk about a little bit later when you're silking in. So really be mindful to be lightweight on the products that you're trying to achieve shine. And remember, real shine, right, is coming from the cuticle being closed and that's taking those steps and taking time with those steps as you go along. Listen guys, I love the terminology silk press. I love thermal fusion. I love hot comb, you know what I mean? I love blowout, but I definitely want you to know one of the things that I kind of lean towards with my team, this is not for everybody. There are some silk press masters out there that don't need to change their terminology, but I do want you to think about it in this form. The key, the secret sauce, if you will, it's not necessarily the iron. It's not necessarily the curling iron or the ceramic iron or the flat iron or the titanium plate, whatever you use it out there. It's really the blow dryer. Guys, if we can blow dry the hair, right? That's the trick. It's still, I would use inside of my salon the term blowout. Really to stress to my team that it's the blow dryer that really is gonna give you that sleekness, that fullness, that longevity of the hair being in that straight form. So really focus your energy. Don't rush through the blow dry. The ceramic iron, the curling iron is crucial. We can't get the sleekness without it. But guys, I'm telling you, sometimes 75% of what you want from your final look is from the blow dryer. So take your time, the bulk of your time with that service, probably 30 minutes out of the hour that it takes you to do this should be on the blow dryer, right? And not just the silk or the press. Tip number eight, guys, to prevent the smoke that we see. Now there's gonna be an initial kind of smoke or evaporation of the water that you're using, but that excessive smoke that you see around the client in the area around your chair and sometimes filling up your entire home, your bathroom, your bedroom, certainly your salon space or your suite is from product that we have on the hair, either that is being placed on there prior to you starting the blowout service or again, heavy products relating back to the previous tip that we gave that we're using in the bowl. Heavy, heavy conditioners, heavy, heavy shampoos that have a lot of emollient, that have a lot of hydrating elements, which the hair needs, but you gotta find one that has a lightweight way that it enters into the hair because if it sits on top of the hair, that's what the heat is gonna hit first before it can even get to the hair shaft. And it's gonna evaporate and blow, weigh the hair down, leaving that residue behind and having this you know, unsightly smoke that's around you and your client. So be mindful of rinsing with cold water to get it all off the hair, yet leaving the properties behind and you won't have that smoke around you, your client, or around wherever you're doing it in your home or in the salon. Next tip, guys, when you're blowing the hair out, be mindful not to only blow the hair that it's dry, but continue to blow the hair until it's smooth. This is a game changer. I had to zoom in right there to make sure you got this. You have a tendency because we want to blow the hair to only be mindful of stopping when the water's gone, when the hair is dry. Remember, it's the blow dryer that's the trick. You're talking to somebody that at one time was doing as a salon business over 150 blowouts as a team a week. I know what I'm talking about. Guys, continue to blow. Even if you feel like the hair is dry, stop, reset, take a break, and then go back in for another 10 minutes or so to be sure that the hair is not only dry, but you're trying to get the hair as smooth as possible. So the curling irons just explain what you did with the blow dryer. Trying to press hair from a whole lot of frizz or from a dry afro, it can get smooth. It will revert a lot quicker if we do it that way. So be mindful of that. Try that out, guys. Let me know if that works for you. Come and jump in the comments. Go back and try it. Come back and let me know. But that's a game changer. Don't just blow till it's dry. 
blow till it's smooth as well prior to using the irons. One of the things that I would talk about in my salon is making sure that we use thin sections. When I had my team, when I trained my team over the years, anybody that was learning blowout, certainly anybody that came to the countless classes that I gave on this subject, and all of my students that are on the tribe membership that study these techniques step by step, who are on the tribe membership, which is our online education platform for beauty professionals. Guys, you hear me talk about it all the time in the step-by-step -step tutorials for professionals, uh, a lot different than what we have here on YouTube. You know I love my YouTube community, but of course the professional side is a lot more in-depth, a lot more deep, you know, products that we're using step by step but when I'm on there guys I'm letting you know the same thing guys be mindful that when you're doing the sections they need to be thin paper thin where you could read through them right like you could read a newspaper through these sections one of the huge mistakes that people make as a professional or those that are styling their hair themselves is they get big sections when they're trying to press big sections when they're trying to curl when in actuality if you're going for silk or a sleek look in particular guys super thin sections and you should only go one pass right a lot of times if we're getting thicker sections we feel the need to clip clip clamp 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 four and five times but if you get thinner sections sleek it out after you've done an amazing blow dryer you will see the rate of your blow dry just go through the roof because you're going to see it last a lot longer a lot more sleekness and a client or you yourself if you're styling yourself you will definitely love the difference Here's a tip guys, be mindful to try different brushes, right? Uh, I'm a fan a lot of times of the Denman brush, um, but a lot of people like Nine Row, and a lot of people like round brush, right? For those that are on the tribe membership, you know guys that I use all three of those depending on the tutorials. So when you're using those tutorials on the tribe membership, you see that I'm using different techniques depending on the client. Uh, but depending on your hair texture, grab a couple different brushes. Your blow dry is not gonna change. Your curl iron is gonna probably stay the same. Your shears are gonna stay the same if you're trimming your own hair or if you're styling in a salon or you're a professional, but you can get a different look by the brushes. So guys, invest in some good brushes, be it a nine row, be it a round brush, or or a vent brush like a paddle brush is another way that they call that. Again, guys, Coco Pro is an excellent company that's out there for all of my community that's out there. You guys can utilize a 20% off coupon code where they have brushes and irons and that epic light blow dry that I told you, as well as shears, just a ton of different tools that you could use for yourself, certainly as a professional, those that are out there inside of suites, um, those that are in cosmetology school, check out Coco Pro and check out the things that are available and use my 20% off discount code for anything that you get on the website. And lastly, guys, pretty much everybody knows this, but it's worth repeating. When you wanna prolong that service, right? Blowout, silk press, thermal fusion, whatever you're getting or whatever you've done for yourself, silk scarf is what you wanna use. And here's something I wanna just, a, another tip on top of that. Maybe have about two or three. Sometimes when you're using a silk scarf on your hair for whatever styling that you have, sometimes the oil from the previous look, sometimes the oil from the sweating, um, or just on your body, on the hair, maybe on the pillowcase, can get on the scarf and actually add weight with the scarf. So I'd encourage you to kind of have three or four in rotation that are all getting cleaned or clean. So you're putting on something that is kind of naked of all of the oil. If not, you'll find yourself getting oily or the hair getting heavier way before time, but it's not because you're creating that oil from your scalp and kind of placing it on with the silk scarf. So get silk as no cotton. I'm not even a huge fan of satin, even though I know satin works. Try to invest in some great silk scarves from your store, from your department store, wherever you want to get them from, and keep about three or four in rotation. That's all we got for you today, guys, on these tips on getting a better blow out again guys leave a comment let me know excited to hear from you drop a comment below if you've got my word i'm going to be back here on youtube full force but use this video guys share this out let me know what you think in the comments and i'll be back with more tips on how we can all get better to my beauty professionals and to my professional hairstylists that are inside of salons inside of salon suites to my future professionals that are out there inside of cosmetology schools ready to get a jump on their career inside of the beauty industry, guys, click the link inside of this description and look at the benefits of joining the tribe membership. It is an online academy of education that I've created. We're in our fifth year, guys. We're excited. Shout out to all of my tribe members that are out there. Guys, it's an online academy, right? This is a hair show in your pocket, right? This is a hair show in your hand. Online access to over 52 tutorials, over 52 podcasts, professional interviews of industry leaders, step-by-step -step on branding, on marketing, on salon business, on 
how to really maximize and really take things to the next level inside of your suite. Guys, it's $14.99 a month. All of the information is there inside of the description here. It doesn't automatically sign you up, but it'll show you the membership benefits. And I gotta tell you, for anybody that's been following me on YouTube, guys, if you love the content here, the tribe membership content will knock your socks off. But for those of you that are in areas where there's not as much education, where you're around the country, outside of the country, shout out to all of our 25 countries that are now represented on the tribe membership. It's amazing, guys. We've crossed over 25 countries, guys. Not only nearly in every state that we have inside of the United States, but you may be in an area where you can't get to education or you really wanna take things and utilize them inside of your salon. The tribe membership is for you. We got a simple, theme for 2020 and 2021. Learn, recreate, and make money. That's it. We want you to take this content, guys. Take this access to this education. It's been collecting for five years, which means you got access to everything that's been uploaded since September of 2016. We're going into our fifth year, guys. This September will be at five years. It's amazing to even consider. Uh, it's me personally, guys, just pouring in all of the years of what I've understood and not just to entertain you or just to kind of twinkle your toes, guys, but really get you to take this and turn it into revenue. Simple model, guys. Better brands, better business where you can take this and create a better life for you, for your staff, for your community, for your clients, and ultimately for your family, guys. So check out the link below. For those of you that decide to join the tribe membership, when you watch this video, I say welcome to the tribe in advance.